Today we are here at the ghost town of Cisco, Utah, kind of by the border of Colorado and Utah on I-70, top of I-70. Uh, you can't see I-70 from this town because it is a little distance away from it, about maybe seven miles or so. But it's just out here in the middle of nowhere, nothing around. Kind of an eerie, creepy place to be honest. But people do seem to swing by and visit. I'm not sure if they were former residents who left in the 1970s or what, but right here on this house, it looks like it's well kept up. There's even a new car there, and I actually heard voices coming in from inside, so somebody's living there, or at least staying there for the time being. Um, as I walk around here, most of these houses are now gone, and I noticed that there are some weird pictures in there. I wanted to go check them out. So I'm going to kind of head around here and see if I can get in there and see what those pictures are of. But uh, this town was settled in the 1880s and was basically abandoned in the 1970s. Settled as a railroad town, and even after the railroad was rerouted, the main highway went through this town for a while, and it still kept up with travelers as they came through to get gas and food and other necessities. But then when they rerouted the road, um, this town just became deserted soon afterwards, so there was nothing left here. Uh, so let's see what this is. A wall full of missing persons. That's kind of creepy. All right. Okay, well, there's some last pictures of Cisco, Utah. Just a random place. There's actually a couple of shows that were filmed here, too. You can look those up. Uh, TV shows and a couple of movies. They're even said to have a Johnny Cash song that was um, sung after this place as well. All right, thanks for watching.